Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about field patterns. So field pattern, when a wave is being propagated in the rectangular waveform, it experiences different types of patterns. Okay, one may travel in a horizontal direction, one may travel in vertical direction, and one may travel in different direction. So when the wave is being traveled in a rectangular wave, it will be experiencing infinite, in, ideally we can say infinite number of modes that are going to be existed, infinite number of patterns that are going to be existed. So when a wave travels in a waveguide, it exhibits infinite number of patterns. So these patterns are known as modes. Okay. These patterns are known as modes so broadly we can divide the modes into two categories one is the te mode and one is tm mode so broadly the modes are classified into two types They are, they are, one is TE mode and second one is TM mode, TE mode and TM mode. Okay, TE mode is nothing but TE stands for transverse electric and TM stands for transverse magnetic. So, let us see what do you mean by TE mode. So, TE mode is nothing but transverse electric. TE stands for transverse electric. Okay, so transverse electric which is perpendicular to the electric field that mode is existed. Nothing but magnetic field. Okay, so magnetic field is existed and electric field is zero in TE mode. So, in TE in the electric field, but if the electric field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, direction of propagation, then that wave is known as T wave. Okay, that means uh, if the electric field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, okay, this is the direction of propagation and electric field is existed in this one. Nothing but what is that? Magnetic field is existed. Okay, so magnetic field is existed. What about this one? It is zero. In TE mode, okay, and similarly, TM mode, second one, TM mode, TM mode or TM wave. If the magnetic field is just opposite for the previous uh, definition, if the magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation that that wave is known as then that wave is known as what is that wave tm wave okay that means <coughs> TM 
electric field is existed here it is the magnetic field okay the, here the magnetic field component h is equal to 0 whereas electric field component is existed here in tm mode okay so each and every mode is designated by a suffix m n okay each mode is designated by suffix m n that means for t e it is t e m n for t m it is t m m n <coughs> where m indicates <coughs> number of number of half wave number of half wave variations of electric field in T E mode that is magnetic field in T M mode. Suppose if you are writing the same definition for T M mode then that gives magnetic field <coughs> with reference to magnetic field in T M mode. across a wider dimension across a wider dimension that is a wider dimension is a narrow dimension is b see what <coughs> where m indicates number of half wave variations of the electric field in te mode okay so electric field in te mode and magnetic field in te mode across the wider dimension a that means <coughs> If you are taking a rectangular waveguide, this is x direction and this is y direction. The rectangular waveguide is placed in such a way that the propagation is in z direction. Okay, 0 to a and it is b. So here the a is moving in z direction, x axis. <coughs> that means m, m indicates the parameter in a axis x axis and similarly n indicates n is nothing but a suffix n indicates number of half wave variations number of half wave variations of electric field of electric field in same TE mode if you are talking about magnetic field then magnetic field <coughs> in TM mode across now it is the narrow dimension that is b narrow dimension b nothing but along the y axis that refers to width of the rectangular wave width. okay suppose you are talking the parameter you are talking about the parameter m that is in the x axis with respect to up to the definition up to it is a okay m indicates the number of half wave variations of the electric field in T E mode, okay, both are representing M and E N, both are representing in the single mode, T E mode. But if you are talking in terms of T M mode, that refers to magnetic field, okay. So whether it is a T E mode or T M mode, M must be towards A and N must be towards 
B. Okay. <coughs> so the mode which is having, we know this already, the mode which is having highest cutoff wavelength is known as what is this dominant mode dominant mode so if you are talking in terms of wavelength then it should be highest cutoff wavelength that is the dominant mode if you are talking in terms of frequency then it should be the least frequency that is the lowest frequency nothing but cutoff frequency okay that uh, that uh, mode is known as dominant mode now let us consider a te10 mode pattern i am not uh, drawing all the wave patterns here for example i am just drawing the wave pattern for te the field pattern for te10 mode because te10 is the dominant mode is the dominant mode for te wave so among the infinite number of modes in te te10 is the dominant mode because that is having the highest cutoff wavelength or least cutoff frequency <laughs> this is the upper wall and this is bottom wall and the electric field component is represented like this in the dots or x format you can also represent in the cross format and the magnetic electric field component and magnetic field component is represented in the circular pattern okay so that means this is the direction of magnetic field okay so this is the magnetic field and this is the electric field which is the maximum value so the electric field if you want to see from the side view electric field is always in the upward direction so along the surface electric field is zero already we know this one along the surface electric field is zero electric field is always perpendicular to the direction of propagation so electric field will be like this okay and this is the dimension a so this is about the field pattern and uh, different types of modes dominant mode and uh, this is the field pattern for te10 mode likewise we can uh, draw a number of n number of uh, patterns for different types of modes thank you